I'm going to go through a bunch of uh, drills, classic drills, that I'd like you to do. Um, you know, it's probably, hopefully this week will be your first time, or you'll be able to get out on skis. And, you know, ski two or three K first, but then come back and do these drills. And I'd like you to do each drill uh, at least five to 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to start um, with a double pole drill. So with that, we're just going to come forward with our arms, bent, put them in the ground, and then push them back. So we're not going to uh, do too much at first, just and come back up, up, up. You don't. As you can see, you don't need a lot of room to do these drills. I'll go back. One thing on this drill is not to come out with your arms here. Come out with your arms bent and ground and push. Stop at your hips. up with my arms and my toes. When your arms come up, your toes come up. Double pull drill. The next, let's add the double pull kick. So, you kick your arms, just as your arms pass your hips, and before the poles go in the ground, you kick back. So, your arms past your hips, kick back. And then you want arms back. Okay. So that's drill number, that's drill number two. Double pull with a kick. So when your arms come past your hips, that's when you kick back. Keep your arms bent, just like in uh, the first drill. Ground and push back. Okay, now uh, we're going to work on our arms. And we're just going to um, move our, you can start, you know, just get yourself, your arms relaxed. Okay, so we're going to just move ourselves with our arms. So just watch me do this. Stick your pull in. Push it all the way back. In, back. In, back. In, back. In, back. In, back. In, keep your arm back and just hook it off. Okay. Now, the subtlety of this is, I want you to notice, when my arm goes in back, I'm going to release my hand and only hang on to the pole with my thumb and my forefinger. And this is a good time when you're not using your legs and only your arms to practice this, so you learn to ski, uh, relax. Um, okay. So, here we go. Slow. Now, you can add, um, 
you know, really, if you want to put in your shoulder into it, or that will give you, you know, sort of the weight shift. So one more time. But work on the release and back, relax in. is called the scooter drill and this is really good you know much better when you have a track but that just isn't going to happen most likely for a while for a while so this is an unusual year so you just got to make make do just do uh, the best you can with this drill that. so the idea of this is you're going to go along just like you're on a scooter The idea is you really want to try and see if you can balance on that one ski as best as you can. Yeah. That's why it's a lot easier with a track, but Very hard. do the best you can with this. And you'll do, Trina's just going to demonstrate it now with her left foot, but you in practice would want to use both feet. And notice you try and emulate the swing of the arms that you would do as if you had the poles. Okay, see? Balance. Swing balance. That's the idea. Even though you may not be able to glide that far without the track, just think about it. You know, that you're trying to, you're going to push and then glide. Push, glide. Push, glide. Push. push. And arms should work like we've done in the previous drills. Try to release. The important thing to work on is what I want you to think about here is the glide. You know, so you push off and then just try to glide and just think about it. It may be really hard to do without a track, but you can at least try to practice weight shift and glide. You know, so let me show you. Okay. So, actually, this this is walking on the ski. Walk. Actually, this this is walking on the ski. Walking. Don't walk. I'm never on this one. For my virtual group. Yeah. So, Say goodbye. Yeah. So 